Listen, I'm not gonna make any demands, but it is about to be story time. So if you want to come up, you should probably come up. letters are piling in. At first there are most of thank yous from police citizens and of course the random musings of Rudy, the town bum, but nowadays things have gotten downright ugly. And to think that when I first started working here at the campaign office for the re-election of Mayor Dickens, all I had to do was go door to door giving away lawn signs. The lovely thing about living in Alabama, and specifically Cotton City, is that the weather is great year round and today was no exception. The sun sat high in the sky, giving out heaping portions of its essential light. Sort of like eating dinner at Grandma's house on Sunday. While I'm over there waiting for my lunch to be prepared, I usually sip on some hot coffee and flip through the pages of the Cotton City Press. In particular, I always enjoyed reading an article called Sarah Says. It was an editorial in the politics section, and boy did it strike a chord in my piano. That means the mayor has been trying to dupe the people of Cotton City by selfishly taking credit for another man's hard work. I knew there was something fishy about the situation from the beginning, but while Mayor Dickens has never been much of a moral compass for the people of Cotton City, I never would have expected him to stoop as low as to plagiarize the good deed of another man. With the election coming up, my thought for the people of Cotton City is this. Perhaps it's time to pull the weeds that have outgrown their stay in the office and plant something new. Can you believe this, asked Earl? I started to respond, but I was being to the punch. The mayor, Arthur Fielder, they were walking around trying to do some last minute campaigning while his opponent, Sid Easterly, sat there with his family. The rest of the citizens were just scattered all across the conference room of City Hall, waiting for the final count of votes to see who would be the next mayor of Cotton City. Dear Mayor Dickens, street cleaning on Willow Lane every third Tuesday is one thing. I give it on this Cotton City Lane to look at life. I can't remember seeing so much commotion since Miss Jenkins managed to get on top of the church that one time. Man, she stayed up there for hours, throwing pennies at kids who were just passed by on the way to school. She was yelling something about Judgment Day, pennies from heaven. The fire department had to come fetch her with ladders. The senators told me they had never seen so much ruckus at City Hall and had to stay late cleaning for several hours. No one has seen or heard from Simon since the night I tried to meet him in the park. And though Simon didn't win the election, I think we can all agree he still taught us a valuable lesson. What is that lesson? Well, perhaps it is different for everybody. But I don't think of Mayor Dickens' re-election as a defeat, but as a victory. The victory is in the hope to see more Simon Josephs in the world. People who touch on communities the way he touched on. 